Hey, what's up guys? Mike Lock here. Thanks for tuning in to this video blog. So um, I get asked a lot about which UI web design software I use. Um, the short answer is Adobe Fireworks. And I'll get to the key features in a second, but I get asked this question a lot. Um, a lot of people are still new to my YouTube channel, so you don't, you don't know my old stuff where I used to post a lot of um, tutorials using Adobe Fireworks. But um, nowadays, I get asked a lot through email, a lot of questions on, hey Mike, what are my thoughts on Sketch? What are my thoughts on this software? What are my thoughts on this? Um, what's the future of Adobe Fireworks? Is it dead? Um, because Adobe announced they're going to stop developing on it. What's the compute? You know, so um, people always ask me these questions, and the short answer is I still use Adobe Fireworks for 99% of all my stuff. Now, little history I got started using Corel Draw way back in the late 90s. I then got introduced to the Macromedia Suite, which was around 2000, which included Fireworks, Dreamweaver, Flash, and Freehand. Adobe purchased Macromedia's product suite and all those products became Adobe products. They canceled freehand because it was similar to Illustrator. Adobe Fireworks was the main web design tool. Adobe Photoshop was the main photo editing tool, etc. Now, around a year and a half ago, Adobe started to introduce new products like Adobe Muse, Adobe Reflow, and all this other stuff. They're trying to get more into other web-based apps. Um, for responsive design and all this other stuff and they said that they're going to stop developing on Adobe Fireworks. They're not going to add new features to it. They're going to explore these other things. Now everyone freaked out in the in the Adobe Fireworks community. Everyone was like sad and like, no, you can't cancel, uh, you know, you can't get rid of Adobe Fireworks. And um, But they haven't. And actually the next day after that press release, Adobe came out with a Q&A saying, hey, we're not getting rid of Adobe Fireworks. We're just, we're going to still make Adobe Fireworks CS6 available to us in the Creative Cloud subscription suite, which they do. I have the Creative Cloud subscription suite, and it's still there. Um, I still use it today. It's not dead. It's been over a year and a half since that announcement. Um, they still have it available. They still support it. They still sell it. Um, they're just trying to, they're spending more of their development time on other apps like Adobe Muse and other things like that. They want to get us introduced to other apps that are out there. But for those of us who are, who know the capabilities of Adobe Fireworks and love Adobe Fireworks, it's still there available to us. I recommend it still. I use it today. Um, if you look at my portfolio, all my work has been done in Adobe Fireworks. You look at my desktop, it's always open. I'm always using Adobe Fireworks. Now, a lot of people ask me, Mike, what are my thoughts on Sketch and this and that? There's some cool software out there, cool apps, but to be honest with you, I never had the need to investigate new software because Adobe Fireworks pretty much gives you everything or gives me everything that I need. Now, here are the, the few um, things that I love about Adobe Fireworks. One is just its capabilities for designing full-fledged mock-ups and designs. Web, mobile, tablet, you see a website out there, it can be done in Adobe Fireworks, okay? Full-based graphic design capabilities, um, UI design capabilities, all, all, it's all there. Secondly, I love, and this is a feature that I can't live without, is the paging capabilities in Adobe Fireworks, the paging and prototyping capabilities and that's the ability to within one file you can work on different canvases um, and work on create different states within your mockups and quickly easily link those pages up in an interactive prototype that you can post to a server you can send to a client you can send to your boss or show a product manager how things link up now for the UI UX design work that I do and if you're not familiar with that, check out my other video um, where I talk about what a UI UX designer is. Now, for UI UX design work, this feature, this prototyping feature is huge. When I'm prototyping wireframes, when I'm prototyping my full-fledged mock-ups and creating different states, and I can easily mock those up to show in a presentation to show how these pages are going to link together, that feature right there is invaluable. So I can't live without that feature. Lastly is the 
um, the vector-based capabilities that um, is available in Adobe Firework. It's like having Illustrator in a graphic design app, okay? So you can design icons, manipulate points, create rounded corners, you know, tweak icons and things like that. Um, you can do it all in Adobe Fireworks. And uh, if you're really crazy, like an illustrator, there's some guys who are nuts with their graphic design capabilities uh, when it comes to um, icons and things like that. It could all be done in Adobe Fireworks. So you get this, this, this app, which is a lightweight version of like Photoshop that has this cool paging prototyping capabilities that allows you to create wireframes quickly and easily and prototype those up, you know, full-fledged mock-ups and prototype those up, along with the vector-based capabilities. There's really nothing else that you need outside of those key features, and you get all that in Adobe Fireworks, and that's why, to this day, I still think, um, I still say Adobe Fireworks is the best UI UX design app available um, on the market. So if you want to learn more about Adobe Fireworks, you have more questions about Adobe Fireworks, please visit my website, check out my web design training course. I have tons of videos, hundreds of hours of tutorials on um, the capabilities of Adobe Fireworks. If you want to learn more about that, visit my website, mlwebcode.com. Also, if you have questions, visit my website, mlwebcode.com. Click on the contact link above, use the contact form, and shoot me an email. I'll be happy to answer any further questions for you. Um, also, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please leave me a comment, subscribe, give me your opinion, and I'll be happy to chat back and forth with you guys. Thanks for watching, as always, and we'll talk soon. Peace.